everybody, it's Dr. Nicole with Healing Hands and Anna Hawkin, and welcome. So, I have a question for you. Hmm, what's my question? Oh, I know what it is. So, here's a myth bust for you. So, um, when I, sometimes when I'm out in the community and people find out that I'm a chiropractor, one of the things that I'll hear often is, is, oh, they'll say, oh, I know that I have problems with my spine, but I don't want to see a chiropractor because I've always heard that once you start going, you have to continuously go for the rest of your life. So let's myth bust. Let's take a look at that and see what it actually means. So here's the thing, guys. Um, through the course of your lifetime, your, your spine has two really important functions. You guys know this already. Number one is it holds us upright. That's what we call your posture. Number two, the spinal bones um, house and protect your very delicate spinal cord and the nerves that exit. And in order to have a healthy body, you have to have a healthy spinal cord because of the nervous system's relationship to the health and function of your organs and your overall body health and body function, right? If you guys have any questions about that, always let me know. I'm more than happy to ask. So what happens is, is through the course of our lifetime, starting from the day that we're born all the way up until the day that we die, we all have these different stresses and different traumas to our body. Sometimes we feel them like a motor vehicle accident or a sporting injury. Sometimes we don't feel them. It could be something subtle like sitting for hours at your computer or even with your head down playing video games or even the way that we sleep. All those different stresses and traumas can cause the spine to shift out of alignment. It can cause injuries to the spine. It can cause damage to the spine. And that disrupts the communication in the body between your brain and the rest of your organ, which, which as you guys know, creates disease in the body, right? So, so um, these types of injuries to our spine happens from the day that we're put on the planet to the day that we die, right? So when should we have our spine checked? Well, a good idea is probably starting from really early on and, and making chiropractic part of your lifestyle. Now, chiropractic is very safe. It is extremely safe in comparison to medicine, for example. Like our chiropractor's malpractice insurance is like less than 1% of what a medical doctor pays in malpractice insurance. Like if you were betting on anything down in Atlantic City, you would bet on the safety of chiropractic just by the insurance premiums alone, right? So it's super safe chiropractic feels really good. So it's not something that you become addicted to, like a drug or something like that, like a drug or a toxin or, or sugar or something like that, but it feels really good. So my question for you would be, if something is perfectly safe, something feels really good, and it's contributing to the health and well-being of your body through the course of your lifetime, then why wouldn't you get adjusted for for your throughout the course of your entire lifetime. It's not that you have to, like you don't have to brush your teeth every day. Well, you don't have to get adjusted all the time, but if you don't brush your teeth, what's gonna happen? Eh, besides bad breath, your teeth are gonna rot, right? Well, same is true for your spine. So hopefully that answered that um, question and busted that myth. If, of course, if you guys have any questions, always ask, the team is here to help.